What's going on? Welcome back to Trending Stocks. Today we're going to talk to you about SoFi. Today was another crazy roller coaster. I want to go over some of the data points, what really moved, and go over everything else you need to know. But first, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up. And with that, let's get right to it. SoFi closed 1.14% in the red. It although did have a very nice recovery, so it had a low of $7.58. So bouncing off that 200 day moving average, I'm gonna go over technicals near the tail end of the video, but rather high for volume. So 46.9 million shares being traded, 41.8 is the average. These are some of the transactions that did occur on the secondary market above $100,000. So straight out the gate, you had a lot of selling. So this is what basically caused it to tank 1.67 million, couple buys in between there, but most of the transactions today were sells, even a big one right here, so 9.48. I honestly couldn't tell you what the hell is going on with SoFi and institutions. So they just don't seem to be jiving as of right now. There was some fear for Sing to get housing data as well as consumer confidence. So that was a lot lower than the forecast, so 98.7 versus 103.9. So a lot of that caused some uneasiness, if that's even a word, for the broader market. But I guess as a byproduct, it did start to recover slightly because what happens when we have negative data? Likelihood of rate cuts do increase. So for November 7th, I know it might be premature to already start talking about that, but Honestly, that's what is driving the market right now. But there is a 62.3% likelihood of a 50 basis point cut for that. So yeah, honestly, we might see just in 2024, probably 125 basis points based on everything so far. So that would be good. Uh, again, I'll leave it up to you guys to determine if that is to avoid a recession or if it is generally just very, very positive. Nothing new for SoFi, so no SEC filings, nobody selling so far. So we don't have any 144s or anything like that. So Jeremy's divorce has hopefully settled momentarily. But uh, all jokes aside from that though, uh, we do have a new short interest percentage. So as I've explained in the past, two times per month, the NASDAQ does disclose the true amount of shares being shorted. It always is delayed, but um, of course, that uh, is where a lot of platforms such as Ortex and Fintel and some others, they take that information and they kind of run with it and calculate up to today's date. But as of right now, or I guess it was disclosed late last night, as of September the 12th, there was 186.59 million shares overall are being shorted and that works out to be 17.83%. So a little bit more of a reduction. But what Ortex does is they take that and kind of calculate up to today's date uh, as far as estimates. So this is why you do get that 17.31%. So shorts actually have been returning a little bit more than anticipated. And that's one thing I've been bringing up time and time again is just the fact that whatever the hell is happening to SoFi, I get some entities are selling, but shorts have been very much returning and that's abnormal because I, I look at a lot of different heavily shorted stocks and Lucid is actually having the opposite. Like shorts are just giving them the middle finger and just doubling the hell down regardless of the data. SoFi is getting the opposite. So shorts are continuously returning. So of course, uh, Ortex factors in all that. Uh, long story short, shorts uh, kind of returned around uh, 12 million shares. So kind of factor all that in 181.08 million shares overall are being shorted cost of our average is a little bit lower than yesterday so 0.61 percent and then utilization 45.4 so hopefully shorts do continue to return leading into their upcoming uh, earnings which so far is unannounced but i think in reality we need some good data and clearly entities would be are somewhat bearish on sofi based on everything. So even with potential uh, cuts for the November 7th and December 18th, that doesn't seem to be a good enough uh, justified catalyst to buy SoFi, which is kind of weird because you see a lot of other stocks, a lot of other fintechs as well running up. Just SoFi seems to be lagging and it's been lagging for a while now, which is unfortunate. But moving on, looking at options, 7.52 million in calls, 2.46 million in puts. So a lot of money was getting into SoFi today. So that's kind of a nice change of events. But 48% of all the options being done today were optimistic and bullish and were kind of oriented around that 8 to 8.50 uh, kind of range. So 
Hopefully that does come to fruition. Looking at puts though, you do see a consensus for it to be sub 750. So we are on a very key pivot point right now. Uh, just hopefully entities start buying the hell out of SoFi, not really continuing this level of selling. But as of right now, with it closing at $7.83, it is trading between this S1 and the pivot. So 807 will be the next strong target slash resistance. Didn't even come close to that today. So uh, of course, the technicals are kind of showing some more consolidation is in the future. And it did bounce off of this general area, this S2. So it uh, so far does want to go down. Um, but luckily enough, it did bounce off of that 200 day moving average. So it did transition from the higher to the lower momentarily today. Um, actually, I'll move it out over here so you guys can see it a little bit better. So yeah, the technicals are breaking down. And as I've been stating, looking at stochastic, it is considered overbought. So the first sign of weakness, whether it be SoFi specific or the broader market, you are most likely going to have a lot of consolidation. And that's one thing that actually does happen with SoFi a lot is every time it does get overbought, it corrects uh, very, very aggressively. Um, so maybe it's just that's what entities are kind of forecasting is that we are kind of entering into a consolidation phase. As long as it doesn't dip below this point right here, the technicals are still going to be a okay. And if it does bounce off of that 50 day moving average, which is roughly around that 735 ish, then it should reset the technicals and hopefully have a nice run up into their earnings. But it's all going to come uh, down to the data. So GDP on Thursday, you have PC on Friday. So yeah, it's going to be a continuation of a crazy, crazy roller coaster. And number of retail investors didn't really do all that much. So retail has been, it looks like buying a little bit more uh, as far as frequency and number than entities. So yeah, what's your thoughts on SoFi? Why do you think it is lagging? Why do you think big money wants to get the hell out of SoFi? Is there some risks on their balance sheet or something because they, they have a ton of cash? It doesn't logically make sense. Uh, personal loans. I know the SoFi is wanting to try to transition towards that. Is that the big risk? Like what is going on? Like clearly shorts are returning because they see a little bit more upside coming with SoFi because it is very cheap to borrow because right now the cost of borrow average is like I said, 0.61 and that's an annual rate. So if someone wants to short SoFi, it's pennies, very, like very cheap to do so. So essentially shorts have no real benefit to return unless they see more upside naturally with a share price. So do you think that there's going to be a big correction that does happen? What's your thoughts? Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I always greatly appreciate that. And with all that said, appreciate all of you guys watching.